Hey YouTube, so I said I would make a video on Sunday. It's a little, it's a day late, but I had a really long day yesterday. Um, went to a flea market, went to a thrift store, went to a few Goodwills, um, even found stuff at McDonald's. So, um, went out with the kids yesterday and watched Transformers 4. And I can't say that I liked it too much. The kids loved it, though. Um, but to me, it just kind of, it dragged a bit. But, you know, what can you do? Anyways, so we went to a Goodwill first, though. And uh, I didn't find much at Goodwill yesterday. It was kind of, kind of crappy. But um, I found uh, Pong for the... PlayStation 1, and it looks like brand new, the disc is brand new. I found chess, same deal except for the sticker, the disc looks brand new. Um, and I found this, it's um, Tony Hawk's for the PS1, but it was a three disc case, <clears throat> and it had one, two, and three in there for the PS1. So that was nice, I mean I paid for one the 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 price for one CD was just like one fifty, and I got all three games in one. Um, so that was the first thing I found, and then uh, we went to. Oh, I'm sorry. There's actually more that I found at that one. I found another Spy Fox game, uh, Dry Cereal. So now I have two of those. I think there's like four of them, or maybe five. Some of that. And then I also found <clears throat> the Disgaea, Disgaea, I don't know how to pronounce that, but the soundtrack for that. Um, and the disc looks brand new. I'm sure the person never listened to it, but uh, yeah, I found that. Let me ruin the insert here. Um, so that was the first Goodwill. And then. Um, the second Goodwill I went to, I found uh, a couple of puzzles, and you can't really tell on the camera, but that's like a 3D sort of hologram picture on the front, and the puzzle itself is actually a 3D hologram puzzle. Uh, I found one for this, Mario Power Tennis, and then another one, oh, it's 9 and 7 eighths by 7 and 7 eighths inches when they're done so they're small puzzles but one for Mario Kart DS <clears throat> so those look nice sitting on the shelf with the holograms so I also found this game I don't know anything about it but I just picked it up anyway it's called Slam Witch it's brand new inside the box and I saw that it got best toy award so I was like hang on one second sorry that's loud and annoying in the background so I saw it, that that label and I was like ah it's it was like 75 cents or something so I said I'll, I'll pick it up it's it's probably good it's a card game and then I found this life the Simpsons version um, and everything's in there the box is a little messed up on the corners but it was already taped um, and it still I mean the box looks good so it's not terrible but uh, I love the Simpsons and I love that game so all right, so that is just about it for Goodwill. Um, after Goodwill, we uh, were on the way to a third Goodwill that we never quite made it to, excuse me. We never quite made it to the third Goodwill because we stopped at a flea market. And at the flea market, I uh, first thing I came across was a lady selling a bunch of old dusty systems. <clears throat> and it caught my eye on the table. There was a PS1 box with the label on it. It's a slim little mini PS1. And um, it's, you know, every, everything's in there except for the power cable. So I need to get a power cable for inside the box. But other than that, once I get the power cable, it'll be complete in the box. The top of the box is a little torn up. Um, she wanted ten dollars for it, and I tried to get it for five. And I told her, you know, it's it's missing the power cord, and she's like, well, that's that's why it's ten. Otherwise, it would be more. And I'm like, okay, well, 
Um, and then uh, one of my kids noticed that she had a bin of games that I didn't even see. It was right under my feet. I was too busy looking at this. And so I looked through the games and I found one, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 for PS2. I already have it, but um, I figured it would be... There's really no, there's no instructions, just a page, some kind of registration page torn out of it. But the disc is in good shape, uh, and I figured, you know, I can flip this and make something, make the money back for this, the PlayStation. So I asked her, uh, would you do the PlayStation and the game for 10 bucks? And she said, sure. So $10 got me both of those, and then I can flip this and make the money back. So I got a free PlayStation out of it. Um... <clears throat> And so we moved a little bit further, and I found a guy with a, a white, large white bin with a bunch of Nintendo stuff in it, and uh, I'm kind of looking at it, and he jumps over there, and he asks me, you know, if I'm interested in anything from there. Um, and I said, yeah, you know, <clears throat> a couple of them. And I said, how much are they? And he said, uh, it depends on the game. And I said, oh, they're individually priced. And he said, uh, well, you know, sort of. He's like, there's Mario and Duck Hunt. Like, it's an amazing, you know, find or something. Um, and I'm like, well, how much for everything? And he's like, um, I'm thinking 40. And I'm like, well, I was thinking more like 20. And he's like, uh, okay. So, for $20, I got a bin and I will show you what was in that bin. First off, there was a uh, Nintendo dog bone controller in great shape. It's in really good shape. Works perfectly. Um, there was a zapper, also in pretty good shape. Works excellent. I had that clean. By the way, all this stuff in this bin, super dirty. I, I mean, I was, I was kind of thinking half of the games wouldn't even work that were in this bin because it was just nasty in there and it took me actually this is why I could not make the video last night because it took me three hours we didn't get home till 10 because we went to see a movie it took me three hours to clean everything that I got yesterday from the flea market <clears throat> it was just it's not a very clean flea market but then again none of them really are but okay so I got the zapper <clears throat> and I'll be darned if I'm gonna use a controller with somebody else's dirty hands all over it it's no thanks I, I I want to make sure my stuff's clean okay so these two I already had and I haven't bothered cleaning these yet actually um, I'll get to it but they didn't go into my collection because I've already had them um, so I wasn't too worried about it but I got uh, inside the thing Dragon Warrior and by the way if you're waiting for an Earthbound to pop up it's not gonna pop up because there was nothing fantastic in the box but there, there was decent games Mario and Duck Hunt was in there um, <coughs> and then there was uh, all these games that I'm going to show you next I didn't have yet so that's why I bought the whole bin um, Kung Fu I did not have that uh, Russian Attack uh, Rygar which was one, uh, well, uh, this was the one that I saw and I was like, okay, oh I gotta get that game. Because I've been wanting Rygar. And Hydelide. Another game that I wanted to get. Silent Service. And a really messed up Tiger Heli. <laughs> See, I have to tell you what it is, because you'd never know. Unless, of course, you know the label that well. Um, so, and then that's it for the Nintendo, and then it also had some Super Nintendo games in it. Uh, Caesar's Palace. Um, Buster, Bust Loose. Tiny Toons. Miss Pac-Man. Uh... Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. <coughs> Aladdin, good one. I did not have this one, so I was actually happy about this. This and Rygar actually uh, made me decide to just get the whole the whole bin. Those two games were worth it, in my opinion. Bubsy 2. Uh, 
Family Feud. Uh, and then some sports games. NHL, Stanley Cup. NCAA Basketball. And Ken Griffey's Major League Baseball. I will never play this. I guarantee you. But it was in the bin, so I'll probably flip the sports games if I even can. I don't know that I can. Um, okay, so that's it. That was it for that bin. <clears throat> and so I dropped the stuff off at the car because I didn't want to carry all that stuff around. And then continued looking around and got, a, got to this table where this guy was selling um, uh, a bunch of PlayStation 1 games in these cheap cases. He just had them all on the table um, in a stack. So I looked through them. I asked the guy, I said, how much are the PlayStation 1 games? And he's like, oh, they're hers. So they belong to a girl that was there selling. So I waited. She told me, um, uh, what was the price she gave? $3 each. No, I'm sorry, $2 each. $2 each game. And I said, okay. So I looked at this stack, a bunch of crap in there. I mean, literally junk. Um, and I figure I buy enough junk at, at Goodwill. I don't, I don't need to pick up any more junk at a flea market. And then I get to the bottom of the stack and I find three games that were totally worth it. I find... Uh, let's start from the bottom up. I find... Jade Cocoon. And these three discs are brand new. Keep that in mind. Like brand new discs. No cases, no instructions, unfortunately, but the discs are like brand new. <coughs> Bray Fencer Musashi. Ooh, that's really reflective. And the big one right here. Tactics Ogre. Okay, so she told me $2 each disc, and I decided I wanted those three, and then I looked down and barely see this. I was in a really smoky, uh, plastic little baggie um, with something else in there with it, and it's Paper Mario Sticker Star for the 3DS. This camera has focusing issues in when there's low light, but if I turn on the light, it'll be too bright because it's daytime now. So I'm sorry if you can't see everything super clear. Uh, but Paper Mario Sticker Star for the 3DS. So here we have these three PS1 games that, I don't know, roughly eBay value is like $90 for the three of them. And then Sticker Star, um, like 10 to $12 roughly. Um, so about a hundred dollars worth of games in these four games and if not more I mean depending on the buyer um, and I offered them ten for the lot I told them split the difference and, and I'll give you ten for all of it and they said yes so I got the four games for ten bucks <clears throat> I do not plan on selling them no uh, I'm just sort of giving an idea of the of the uh, excellent deal that I got there um, Okay, so then we decided to go inside the flea market, which turned out to be a mistake because it was just a bunch of junk. There was one video game store inside there, but it was a reseller, and he had just... Which I was shocked to see a reseller inside because to find a reseller inside of the flea market but still find uh, valuable games like that outside... Is, is amazing because usually they clear it out in the morning and I was there at like one in the afternoon too so I don't know what, what was going on at that flea market but okay so there was this guy outside the door who had this stack of discs just sitting there and I asked him I saw some PS1 games in there so I asked him how much for the the, the discs um, he you could look at the guy and obviously know he didn't know the difference between a DVD a CD and a game so I said how much for the discs and he said two dollars each and in there um, was uh, Legend of Dragoon and the discs are, were like perfect which I was shocked because the way they were stacked it was like he didn't care about them but the discs were actually perfect very minor scratches on a couple of the discs but for the most part and uh, uh, for the most part they're good um, 
so I took all four discs, and it would have been eight dollars for Legend of Dragoon. Now, I could pay like two or four more dollars and get the case with it off of eBay. So I wasn't about to pay eight dollars for Legend of Dragoon, um, <clears throat> and so I took the four discs. And I told the guy, I said, hey, look, these are all from the same thing. See, it says disc one, disc two, disc three, disc four on them. Um, can I give you three bucks for them? And he said, yes. So I got Legend of Dragoon, all four discs, for three dollars. Um, which is fantastic, because I did not have this game. And I was going to get it on eBay, because um, I got thinking I'm never going to find it out there. Um, one of my favorite RPGs of all time. I would go as far to say that I like this more than Final Fantasy VII. And I'm probably going to get enemies saying that uh, for anyone watching the video. But hey, that's my opinion. I love this game, Legend of Dragon. And if you've never played it, do yourself a favor and play it. Because it is excellent. So... I got that, three dollars, and so we didn't find anything else. Oh, I'm sorry. Inside the box with the PS1, by the way, it's nothing major, but it may come in handy in the future. Uh, inside the box with the PS1, there was a little baggie, and there's a receiver for a wireless PS2 controller, just just in there, and then there's also a receiver for a wireless PS2 guitar. So. It was free inside the box with it. I mean, shoot, I could sell those two things and make back the money for the PS1 and keep Star Wars Battlefront 2. I mean, that just turned it... When I saw those, that actually turned it into a, an, a way better deal. Because I, I think people pay like $10 for those receivers for the PS2 controller. Um, okay, so after that, we stopped off at... Uh, uh, okay, on the way to the next Goodwill, because uh, it was still kind of early, we decided we were going to go. And uh, it was Sunday, so they closed early, so we're kind of rushing to these things. Um, uh, we were driving down the road, and I saw a sign that said barn sale. So we stopped there uh, to see what they had, and wound up picking up some Game Boy games. I asked the guy, do you have any... I was like, do you have any old games here, like any cartridge games, or just a really old Nintendo or Sega games? And he's like, no, no, we don't, we don't have any of that. Um, just board games. I'm like, okay. And I already checked out their board games. They had junk. Um, so he's like, we just got like board games and stuff. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, nothing like handheld stuff. And there's like a teenager right behind him listening to the whole conversation. And then all of a sudden he jumps. Like, oh yeah, we got, we got some Game Boy games. So, I mean, I'm like, okay. Well, that's cartridge games. So. Uh, can I check them out? And so we go over to this table, and he's got like 15 Game Boy games lined up. And I asked him how much for the games, and he said they're 50 cents to a dollar, depending on the game. Um, and I don't understand how people do that. I mean, just as a side note, like, you're either going to charge 50 cents per game or a dollar per game. You can't put a value on a game like oh it's 50 cents for this game and a dollar for that game if you don't even know what they're worth I mean is it personal value I mean and most of the time they're gonna break anyways because they're gonna tell you oh these two games are a dollar each and these two games are 50 cents each and if you tell them I'll give you two bucks for all of them they're gonna do it anyway so I don't understand the point I mean maybe it's shoot high you know Aim high, shoot low. I, I forget how to say, what the saying is, but maybe that's their plan. But it, it never works from the seller, in my opinion. I mean, I, uh, for the most part, I always get the seller to break somehow. And anyway, so I didn't even ask him which ones were 50 cents and which ones were a dollar. I just basically picked out four games that I wanted, and I said two bucks, and he said okay. So I got Bionic Commando for the Game Boy Color. Not the Game Boy one, but the Game Boy Color. <clears throat> I wish it was the Game Boy one. SpongeBob SquarePants, uh, Lost Spatula, Legend of the Lost Spatula for the Game Boy Color. Um, Bugs Bunny, Crazy Castle for the Game Boy. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Dual Stories for the Game Boy Color. 
And they're in good shape, I mean, decent shape for how old they are. And I got them for $2. So four games for $2. They didn't have much else. He had a, a GameCube memory card that he wanted 2 bucks for. But it was a, a uh, I mean, how do you say it? An, an X1, a Times 1 memory card. Their, their funky naming scheme. Um, I, it just wasn't worth it. I mean, I'd rather have the larger memory cards. When you have a large game collection or you have, or you play a lot of games or, I don't have, I mean, honestly, I don't have any GameCube games right now uh, yet. So I haven't gotten to that market and haven't come across any yet, uh, unfortunately. But when I do get into that market of GameCube, I'm going to have a lot of games and a, and a times one memory card isn't going to cut it. So if I'm going to spend money, I'm going to look for the, the larger memory cards for the GameCube. It's just not worth it to waste money on a small memory card for me, for any system. I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't buy the, the 8 megabyte memory cards for PS2. I don't, you know, I get the 64 megabyte, I think they are. But, you know, get the larger cards because I'm just going to have memory cards all over the place full. Anyway, so, okay, so we stopped off at the barn sale, got those. After that, um, still on the way to Goodwill, we saw a GameStop. And so we decided to go in and take a look around, and I found this. I don't know if it's any good, but I love the series, Prince of Persia. And they wanted two forty nine dollars for it. And, it, it, you know, if I saw this in a Goodwill for $2, I would have bought it. So I was like, okay, well... 250 isn't bad at all for for a game even if it's not that great it only costed 250 and it's prince of persia i mean i've played most of them but i've never played this one so i'm gonna have to play that soon um and then i also found this uh four player adapter for the ps2 it's an intech it's not a uh, sony but uh, four player adapter and I found another iToy and the four player adapter was marked a uh, dollar nineteen or something and the iToy was marked 49 cents so I brought everything up to the register and the guy was like oh you know what actually the prices were wrong in the system and I'm like oh yeah here we go he's like the iToy is actually 12 cents and the multiplayer adapter is actually 48 cents so, I got both of these for sixty cents, and the game for two fifty. I, I think the final cost of everything was like three fifty or something around there for the game, and both of these things. So, uh, that was a pretty darn good deal. Um, now I just need a game to use with the iToy because now I have two iToys for two PlayStation Twos that I got, and I don't have an iToy game yet. <laughs> Um, all right, so then afterwards, uh, we went to see the movie, because by then the Goodwill would have been closed. So we went to see the movie, uh, regrettably, and then after the movie, we stopped off at McDonald's and got some food, and McDonald's has their promotion right now for Mario Kart 8, and unfortunately, I missed the Mario, uh, two separate words here, the Mario Kart, because they're giving away these little carts for the game and the little visors so I just asked them what toys do you have and uh, they pulled them out and I bought all of the toys that they got currently and I think this is the coolest one right here it's a Mario visor and it says Mario Kart 8 on it and they didn't have a Luigi one I don't know what visors they have but I was hoping they had a Luigi one but they didn't at that one. I'm going to check other McDonald's and see if I can get a hold of the Luigi one though because it's pretty cool. Um, I put it on my Sonic over there and it's it kind of contradictory. It looks funny. Um, and then also the Peach scooter cart and I got the Luigi cart. So they're cool little toys and they're nice on the shelf. Um, I don't know what other toys are in the series. I'll have to look it up online. But, uh, you know, I got a couple of them. And they're like, uh, I think they're 210 each. And I ordered them through the drive thru. Uh, she's like, oh, all we have is Luigi. I'm like, okay, and the visors. I'm like, okay, and my kids were with me. So one of them got, uh, oh no, I picked up a Happy Meal for the baby. And <clears throat> I said, can you put the visor in the Happy Meal? 
and just charged me for the Luigi. And so then I pull out, I, they give me the stuff, I pull out, and then they, I look in there, and they gave me the peach. And I'm like, okay, they said they had Luigi. So I pull over to the side, and I'm like, okay, I got to go in there. I go in, and I tell the guy, uh, they recognize us from just going through the drive-thru. I tell the guy, okay, you're going to think I'm weird, but uh, Lady in the Mic said you had Luigi, and I got a peach. And they started grinning, like, oh, this guy is a grown man asking for a toy. Um, so I was like, okay, well, do you have Luigi? And so she pulls, the, she looks through the stuff, she finds Luigi. And I'm like, okay, well, can I buy that one? And she's like, ah, just, just take it. I'm like, just take it? Because I want them both. You know, I'm not trading Peach for Luigi. I want them both. She's like, yeah, just, just take it. I'm like, okay, cool. So, I got Luigi for free. Now, I like I said, I don't know which other ones are in the set. I'm going to assume Mario is. So, if that is, I need to track that one down. I'll probably find it on eBay really cheap or something. Anyways, um, so, that was it. Uh, I did go to the dollar store as well and found these really cool bins. Here, let me show you. The blue and uh, green. So what I do with these bins now is I'm keeping the all the like my Xbox controls go on the green one, and then I got the <coughs> blue one for all the PlayStation controls. So it makes it easier to find controls when I'm looking for them, and I think. What I need to do is get a clear one, too. Uh, they had a clear one and a pink one. I can't see myself using the pink one, but the clear one I can put, like, Dreamcast stuff in. Um, but uh, I'm just kind of looking around to see if I forgot anything. But I don't think I did. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, I should have another video. Um, it's probably going to be a couple weeks or a few weeks before my next video comes out. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, oh, by the way, one thing I wanted to say is it's a sad, it's really a sad state for the movie industry when I can get all of these games and the system and board games and, and uh, all of the stuff and still not have spent as much as I did to go watch a movie, get a few drinks. I mean, it's it's crazy. I spent more for me and the kids to go see a movie than I did on all this stuff. I mean, it just blows my mind. Um, I believe we spent about 60 bucks at the movie theater. $60 for one adult and two kids. Yeah. And then they get upset about people downloading stuff. But, okay. Um, anyways, <clears throat> that was my little rant. Um, if you liked the video, just uh, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't like it, please do not give it a thumbs down. <laughs> um, state any, you know, comment, state any, uh, um, anything you'd like to see in the game room or anything, uh, you know, whatever. Just comment whatever I don't get a lot of comments I don't understand why and and uh, nobody likes to talk about what I get um, but uh, just leave comments subscribe and I will have more videos soon thanks YouTube